Alright, welcome back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. I am your host, K147. Uh, so off screen, I actually did this, actually. I actually, um, I got the Yadagarasu, um, request with, uh, Megiddo. Um, what I did is that, um, oh, I forgot what I did, though. I, I got, like, some Persona, I fused a Persona with Ares that had Megiddo, and then I fused, oh, I don't remember, though, but it's on a website somewhere that I found it on. So let me just go ahead and turn that one in. We're also gonna do the other one too. Um, the next one, you'll see. Welcome to the Velvet Room. So let's see. Wonderful! This Yadagrasu has Megiddo. What kind of crow is Yadagrasu? Oh, what kind of... <laughs> yeah, she mixed up the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I spoiled. <laughs> Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. You know what's kind of cool, actually? That, um, their cards, the Personas, in this game, and in, um, 3, and in 5, it's, um, you know, the mask that you wear in front of the of other people, and you rip it off. Oh my god, I just love it so much. Okay. So, I want a Yatsufusa that knows Meteorama, or Madiorama. <coughs> I'm not actually sure the pronunciation of like some of these personas most of the time, because sometimes like in um like um there's a persona in this game, um that's named um Malchizevic, but um it's like like in three and four like they pronounce it differently. Um, uh, let me toss out these two actually, because I don't need those two. Okay, this is actually one of the first times we'll actually be doing this step by step. Okay, so the persona Yasufusa is a I think it's a, a penta spread uh, right here at the bottom. <clears throat> so I actually have the persona you need that has a meteorama on it, though, which is a uh, thought right here. So I, we need to get all the other personas. Um, I totally forgot already. Um, I remember one of them was um, Ortheris. I think here, here. Let me, let's just get, let's just do this. <laughs> let's just do this. Okay. Ortheris, Makami, Narshima, Mothman. Okay, I think I can remember that. Okay. Uh, all the way to the bottom for Hangman. Uh, should be... Wait, Hang is after... Wait, where is... Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Okay, Ortheris... Oh, I don't have a Makami. Oh, well, we can make one easy. Makami. Uh. Narshimaha. Or whatever. He, I, I don't know. I don't know this guy's name. I don't know this guy's name. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have a Makami. Well, we'll just, we'll just make one easy right now. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna use it. Oh yeah, that's right, Makami was not 5, wasn't he? It's also the persona that, um, represents the bond with you and, um, Naoki, actually. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. It's like a mid-tier hangman persona. He gives you, um... I know in 5, he actually gives me a frickin'... It's either him or Inugami that gives me a skill card that I used in, um, one of the strength social link. Which is like, you know, it's the same thing, creating personas. It's Caroline and Justine. Ortheris and Mothman. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Which I most definitely have. Um, Mothman is Hermit. And then... Ortheris. Alright. Alright, here we go! Alright. <laughs> Pretty cool dog. Alright, let's see here. Um, I don't even know. I'm not gonna even use this persona to be completely honest. It's bounce stats. Alright, let's see here. Um, let's do... Well, obviously we need Midarama. Uh, Akunda. How about, um, do Tempest Slash. Megidola. <laughs> sure. 
Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's not skip this one. Yeah, let's just save it while we can, actually. Because <laughs> later on, like, in 5, it's an, ex ex it's an execution. It's kind of gruesome. But you should look at the other, um... Shin Megami Tensei games. They're... I've looked it up, actually. They're really, really gruesome. Alrighty. He has no weakness, too, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's get rid of... Um, I'm not going to use Fire Boost on him. Moon Power Charge. I'll take that. I'll get rid of Masuku Kaja. Okay. It's kind of cool that also in 5, actually, too, the Velvet Room is, um... You can actually, um... Exit. It's like it's like its own separate room actually, so you can just say like you can do all your velvet room business and then step out to the side though and do whatever you Welcome need to do, to and then do the and then turn in your quest though. Whereas in this game you have to like do two steps. Uh, I mean that's it's not that bad. Words can express nothing. The only way to convey meaning is through the communication through hearts. <laughs> that's some like that sounds like some cheesy Kingdom Hearts kind of shit. Nick, Sukita, and Margaret. Well, yeah, what do we have in common? Yeah, the- <laughs> Alright, I passed the test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, surprisingly, they always say, like, you got more intimate with Margaret, though. Don't- Yeah, you actually don't- You don't hit it. You hit Elizabeth, though, which is actually hilarious. Okay. I'd like to see a... Ganesha. With, uh... Tetracarn. Okay. Well, we're not gonna worry about that, though, because that's like a... I know it's, it's that elephant persona, though, but I don't even know if we can even... We're even at a level to even make that persona. And I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Alright. Alright, let's go. It's time to go fight now, Toe. <laughs> God, I looked at the video time, and it, it took seven minutes. Alright, we're... Alright, yeah, enough wasting time. We gotta do this boss. <laughs> Oh my god. Noto. Ah, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you. These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth. The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth. No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes. It's your brain they're interested in. The gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace, detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! 
At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now, Tokun, and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the Shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me! You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine! Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile! Damn, that's a good one. I gotta, like, try that next time. <laughs> Lizard brain imbecile. Save the discussion for later. Here it comes. Okay. This is gonna be our last shadow fight in the uh, in the game, I believe. I am a shadow, the true self. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin the special operation! Bring it on, man! I'll pull you through this! Operation? I hate ouchies! Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence! Alrighty. It's a strong one! Don't lower your guard! Okay. So now to Shadow is kind of like based off the fact that... Okay, if you actually look really closely at it though, it's half like... Like, it's half body. It It's kind of like, um, it's supposed to be like a cross-gender kind of thing. And then the fact that it's also tiny might also represent, um, her size too. It, um, it, it's kind of weird though. Because I thought, like, I thought it would be easy to explain the fact that the cross-gender part though. But, yeah, I mean, like, I just see half human, half robot. Because if it was half male, half female, that actually makes sense. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot. So in Golden, they actually, um, they added a uh, resistance to fire for her. But aside from that though, like, this fight's not really much that much different. It's just that, I believe. Cause like, I don't remember if she was weak to, um, or if she resisted physical in um, vanilla. So once we get through this part, well, we can actually get onto the actual fight itself. So she actually does know everything. <laughs> she knows every single element and will do like... Yeah. Oh well. Oh god. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Oh, I don't know why I'm using Cerberus, by the way. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good damage. Um, do I have a... No. Where is... Oh, do I, do I seriously not have, um... I thought I had, um... Alright, whatever. Um... 
Where's, um... I thought I had a, um... No, cut. Yeah, I thought I had a thing for it. Eh, whatever. I'll just do this. <laughs> isn't that something, um... Oh yeah, that's something Alistar said in League, isn't it? Mess with the bull and you get the horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't played that guy in a while. I should play that guy again. I also just realized I was using the, I'm using the same team that I used in against uh, Mitsuo Shadow. Oh, <laughs> I didn't really. Do, I didn't expect. I didn't expect her to just lunge at me like that. But basically, she knows every single um, elemental move, and she has a unique move that will. You know, actually, it was kind of funny in the anime. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Well, almost we get through all this damaging. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's get those double hits or triple hits. I mean. No, no, that will never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. All right. Oh, uh, so yeah. Here's what she'll do first. She'll knock down somebody, and then do this. So pretty much just like, so pretty much like you have zero resistances. Just think of it like that though. It doesn't matter what persona you switch to. Um, it's canceled out though. Just think of it as it canceled out. Oh, I have this. I forgot I made a Scotty. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, we didn't really, really need that, but hey. Um, go on healing duty, Yukiko. Well, since, um... <laughs> yeah, well, since Yukiko's Agidine won't... Well, I mean, Agidine actually won't... Agidine's not useless, but... It's not the optimal damage. Oh my god! That was some optimal damage. I need to, um, refresh Wakunda too. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Okay, so she'll do this, though, as well. It actually does... Yeah! It does that, and um, it inflicts enervation. I think we've done that before, actually. Um, hmm. No, Dire Han fully restores. And we'll just, I'll, I'll get rid of the freaking thing. Uh, no, it's Royal Jelly. Yeah, so enervation will actually, if you do an auto attack, it actually will completely whiff, and you'll just trip and fall. And if you try to do any Persona skills, it just doesn't work though, you'll just be like, uh, 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 what was I doing again? <laughs> so in the anime, um, it's freaking hilarious because, um, how they interpret it is, um, you just turn really old and you just don't, can't do anything. <laughs> this is great. Oh, why must you struggle so much? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh shit, I forgot she had Heat Riser. Alright, we'll see if I care. Alrighty. Uh, well, there's no point in doing, um... There's no point in me doing, um... Oh, that's still did pretty good damage. I have Ice Amp on, too, so that's also my too. I should have, um, bought Yosuke for this fight, actually. Um, is it salt? Oh, it's water. Alright. And then I'll do another... Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, nice. But I mean, like, this fight's actually not that bad, considering how far into the game we are into. Oh god, not again. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, dude! <laughs> Damn. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to fight. That's pretty much the problem with this fight, and that's pretty much, like, aside from that though, the fight's, like, actually really easy. Actually, wait a minute, doesn't, um... I thought I had the Kaja at some point. Probably don't then. Hmm. How about I actually... Hmm. Do I want to though? Uh, I don't really... Hmm. Nah. I, I think I'd, I... Was, I was debating whether I just switched to Kikuri Hime and start doing some healing duty, but nah. Oh god, yeah. We have to get through all this crap. <laughs> yeah, we have to get through everyone's affinity which going back to normal. Um Hmm. Persona, 
I think it'll just take this turn to like. Oh. What? Well, you give me Risei. Okay. I'll take that. I mean, boost of any kind is always good. I'll use Conti's turn to actually get rid of all that. Um, do I want to, though? What persona did I switch to? <laughs> what for oh, yeah, I still have Scotty on. Okay, so I probably should just change my persona later on. Um, okay, I won't do it, actually. Let's do, um, Torrent Shot. Torrent Shot. Ah, yeah. I think Torrent Shot just has a weaker accuracy than, than um, some other moves. Okay. I'll just do this. Why won't you lie down and die? You children can't do anything at all. All right, so she just wastes her turn just doing that. All right. Well, it doesn't really matter what I switch to now, huh? Hmm. Do I even? Oh, I could switch to Succubus. Then I wouldn't. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what else I have. Uh, electricity, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's switch to the persona that I made. <laughs> Let's actually use that persona. <laughs> that looks so weird. I guess they probably went... It, it would probably make more sense for a dog to use like a bash kind of type move. Like a striking kind of move. Not a slash type move. <laughs> that looks so weird. It's like he just ran- it's like he was like repeat and- oh my god. It's like he was repeat and freaking Tales of Asperia, he just ran through them. Yeah, see what I mean? Okay. It's probably different in every single fight, uh, honestly. Okay. Well, well I'll just stick with um, this for now. Actually, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do a power charge, dude. Let's do a power charge into, um... We'll do a power charge into, um, Cerberus then. How about that? Because, um, I'm pretty sure every time you do this fight, though, it just depends on what persona you have. That it just, it, it just pre- Oh my god. <laughs> Three times in a row? Come on, man. That just determines, um, what AoE elemental she does. Alright, yeah, I just want that out of the way. Yeah, see what I mean? Well, thankfully we have that, um, we have, um, the Rakukaja on. So it's not like she's going to do, be doing any big damage anytime soon. Alright, well, we'll just keep going. See, like, this fight's also really broken in vanilla, though, because at this point, I actually have Chie and Yosuke on, um, <laughs> on, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> on, um, on their evolved personas, so you know Suzano and Suzuka Gongen, they have no weakness in vanilla, so they literally just can't get knocked down by anything. Oh, nice! Oh, the free Suzuka Kanja, I'll take that. All right. Oh my God, no! We have to go through all this again. All right. I want to switch to Cerberus. Hmm. I could have probably just used Kali. I don't even know what I have on my Kali. All right, let's see this. Oh yeah! Look at that big damage. Oh, that looks nice. The power of Raku Rakukada, Rakukanda, and and power charge feels good, man. All right, uh, I think we can finish her off. Just as long as we, just as long as it doesn't miss. Don't miss. All right, there we go. And we finished her off with Kanji. Perfect. But I mean, aside from like, aside from having access to all elemental fights, yeah, the fight's actually not that bad. So now Talcoon was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving and. That's right. You saw everything. <laughs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young. 
So my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends. So I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm going to be an awesome hard-boiled detective. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me Junior Detective. At first I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Oh, wait a minute, did you see that? Did she, why did Chie's hand just move there? Did you see, I never noticed that after playing all this game for so long. <laughs> Atlas! Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey. You must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me, and I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no, what I must strive for, isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. I also, I also find it really hilarious that in um, in um, in vanilla actually, it would like zoom all the way up. The camera would pan all the way up for Sakuna Hikuna, but since it's so small, they just did that small little change right there, where the camera doesn't move at all. It's kind of funny. In any event, you're a devious bunch. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now. This case is far from over. That's right. And you proved it now, doll. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Yeah, so the whole now tells the girl. And, okay, never mind. Hey. Hey. Sheesh. She really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too freaking reckless, damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can. No way, Missy. Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go. Grab on.
Alright, so we were able to rescue Naoto. And yes, we did know that the case is not over. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm home!